Government meetings will open after the Lunar New Year holiday on what to do with Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. About a dozen project proposals are on the table. One in particular has sparked intense discussion. It was splashed over one paper's front page. Today, Minister Without Portfolio Ling Wan Yi said it wasn't true that he proposed that Jiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall be transformed into the legislative yuan. There have been over 10 different proposals. They're actually very diverse. There are proposals on commemorating the freedom of the nation or the history of the nation's democracy. There are proposals on holding cultural and arts events, etc. Most of the proposals are like that. There are also people who have suggested repurposing it to house a legislative yuan. Some suggest turning it into an NGO. Some want to make it the Ministry of Culture. Others say it could be a gallery for agriculture and industry. We do have proposals for such projects, although they are in the minority. Most of the proposals lean toward making it a symbol of democracy after transitional justice has been served. Lin was quick to point out that the legislative Yem project was only one of the proposals. Taipei's mayor weighed in on the project. So lawmakers plan to meet in front of Chiang Kai-shek's statue, do they? That's very creative. The legislative yuan will make the decision. It's not our decision. Also, these proposals didn't come from us but from the public. We ought to hear them out and discuss them. Interministerial meetings on Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall won't start until after the Lunar New Year holiday. Lin said that the large scope of the project would make it impossible to find a quick solution.